the Dragon Ball Fighters open beta on Friday, and then the Splatfest on Saturday. What are you talking about? The words that I said to you made sense in English, but you just didn't seem to process them <laughs> Did at you all. say, like, we? I don't no, know. I said we? I. Okay, I was going to say. It's like, I'm no good at fighting games. I mean, neither am I, but I want to learn, and this is like, well, fuck it, where else to learn the Dragon Ball? Just Ball just Gavin, the fighting games. These multiplayer streams are going to cease to exist. You say it's going to be a sad time. cannot commit to even fucking arms, so yeah. Arms isn't a fighting game. Yes, it is. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, what would you call it then? Wank. No, not Got him! It it's wank until Master Mummy's good. Fuck you, Nintendo. I don't know why that's the one you want to be good. Master. Look at him! Yeah, he's fucking ugly. He's. No! What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? What? Gavin has no good opinions. Zero. Zilch. You're the guy who says hat in time again is 26 quid for nothing. It was good last year. What are you talking about? I don't know why you keep saying that whenever I take perfectly, like, sensible <laughs> English sentences. It just makes me think you have problems. Well, I do have a problem. And it's with this weapon set being so close to being perfect. So close. So close. Not only that, but, like, they also put the worst weapon in. I mean, as the as the fourth, it's offensive. The, like the nozzle noses aren't here, and they did they did that for real. Oh my god, another one! How did that not work? It's like a steelhead over here if you want. I mean, I have the ink brush, so I can't really. Oh. I can help you with a crowd, and that's about it. <laughs> there are two of them here. Jump. No, nope, that's not Ah, oh, we were too we early! I think you were doing some damage there. If I was, I couldn't tell. I felt like it. I nice. Man, do you guys like that sound? I love it. Oh my gosh, it's like green as hell. I quite appreciate the inkbrush's run speed and nothing else. Oh, I didn't forget, or I didn't remember. Sue. Uh, All right, we're good. Where are we now? Uh, it's just same. What am I supposed to do with this? Go down there. Hello. Yeah. Actually, we should bring the taxi up. We should get away from hell. That's not happening. Oh. I love the fact that the core can survive exactly long enough to hit me and kill me. <laughs> Even when I'm standing and putting every single possible shot into his body, and he's like almost completely orange. I saw that bomb like land right next to you, and I'm like, he dead. It wasn't even the bomb; it was just the cohort. Somehow that worked. Like we're killing all the bosses over here like fucking idiots. <sighs> yeah, but, but like I wanted to kill the rain thing at least, so it wasn't spreading so much rain and making everything hellish and awkward and terrible. I was gonna say that person. Like, I guess they didn't have enough ink. That's fine. I was gonna say that they faked the. They faked me the fuck out. Yeah, I mean, if grenades are involved, like, you can also assume not enough ink. Not for me. Nope. 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 <laughs> uh, this gun doesn't reach as far as I thought it did. Oh fuck. Oh piss. Oh shit. Is this thing even hitting? I mean, probably not. <laughs> Rain seems to be a general problem for this weapon set. I don't know, I mean, I see the Octobrush guy stream a lot, and then that range seems pretty unrealistic. The brush, yeah, but the ink brush is it has smaller to, Surely it's the plug. same thing. I like how you would argue against me saying, no, the Octobrush has no range, and now you're arguing the ink brush has range. Which is it, mate? <laughs> well, you know, that range, you you don't understand. You, you weren't there, you didn't see it. <laughs> it wasn't that far away. It's like, where, where are you? I'm down here. It was like this far from the basket. Like this far. You think the brush can't get that far? 
Whoop, I was, I was close, I was close. Can't see oh. shit. Where are they? There's one. You know what, I don't care, it's close enough. Oh, good. I love how that first one just somehow didn't cut. I'm gonna go through every single, every single Salmon Run stream. Uh -huh. And make a shit list a shit of people list who of <laughs> deserve to die, and I'm gonna find them. And I will not rest till they. Well, I was gonna say until they're all dead, but really until all their copies of Splatoon 2 are destroyed. That's a fact to that like death, honestly. No, it's not. <laughs> That's like if a hat in time was destroyed. I uh, don't know. That's not exactly losing anything, is it? You haven't even played it. I know. <laughs> Bitch. My word for like 26 There was even a sale and it wasn't in it for some reason. Well, is that that's like the Sony sale, right? Yeah. It, that those fucking suck. You know what? No, nah, like the January sale we had that was fucking rad. Like there was loads of actually really good, interesting shit that was like. Alright, I think I remember complaining about that because it was after Christmas. Right, yeah, okay, I remember that. Man, that makes me so angry. Why? Why? <laughs> why, 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 why like would you have it, it follows, after Christmas? It follows the logic of like, well, for one, you want people to spend more at Christmas because, oh, we need to get shit for Christmas, so they're more likely to spend at full price so you get more money. Wrong. Yeah, no, that's how it there, works. There's so many other alternatives that are on sale. I'm not going to buy from you. I'll say, you know what, Gavin? I know you like the PS4. Here's all the dang and rompas on PC, even though I wanted to get them for you on PS4 for the trophies. Fuck you, Sony. Well, oh. for one, Sony doesn't decide who puts what on sale. What? So, like, you said, like, oh, fuck you, Sony. Like, dang and rompas sale price is dependent on the publisher, not Sony. Sony doesn't have a say in it at all. In the, like the price of the person's game no, on sale? That, no. That cannot be true. Why would it be on sale on like, another thing then? Because that publisher decided to have it there and not on the Sony one. Like that's literally how it is. Like the publisher decides what their game is priced in a sale. If their game's on sale at all. That's how any of these sales work. Like that's how the fucking Steam sale works. Like Valve doesn't go like your game is nigh two quid. I need a bag. Like the publisher decides. Give me a bag. I'm hyperventilating. Why? I'm dying. <laughs> Why? This is the dumbest shit. I mean, of all the dumbest time. shit. Why would like the platform holder dictate what price your thing is? Because it's on their platform. No, because that would fuck you over though. This is like, <laughs> if Valve just doesn't like you to say your game is not like, two quid forever, like what what the fuck will you do about it? No one would go there. No one would put their games on there. Oh wait! Right. It's the same thing as uh it's my console. That means you have to do what I want. I don't know. Like, I don't follow. Like I don't see why you think like the platform holder. No, has I feel like they they have price. they have to have some say. They don't. Like they literally do not. Like they have no say in what the price is. It's up to I'm the almost certain that that is a lie. That is not a lie. That's how all of them work. The well, not a lie. Don't give a shit. A uh. Like the publisher doesn't make the game. They don't decide. Like they don't give a shit. Whatever. It's like your game as long as it passes like the requirements for acceptable to release, which are incredibly fucking low these days. Like anything gets cleared. Like, what the price is after that is up to you, because on your head be it. The publisher doesn't give a shit. Okay, so then why January? <laughs> well, like, the logic there is that after Christmas, like, a lot of stuff goes on sale because all oh, the prices come down after Christmas when no one has money and they get rid of surplus stock that wasn't sold. And then they, you know, take advantage of the fact that everyone, want, like, lots of people Did have extra know, money after Christmas. I mean, no. That's, that's why you have a Christmas sale go into that's January. Works in physical stores and digital stores will follow the standards set by physical stores. Like that's how they work. Like that's like that's why, you know, like game prices on everywhere but Steam, like you know, from console to digital stores, like Nintendo was like, their games are still like sixty fucking quid because oh hey, like they no, have what? to be high, equal or higher than they are in physical stores, or physical stores will not stock them, and that's where the majority of the sales come from. Physical stores still dictate how all this shit works ultimately. Fuck, as much as I dislike Sony, apparently, uh, I, like, I don't think equating them to Nintendo is fair to them, <laughs> as far as so, sales go. I mean, I know, but I'm just saying, like, sales practices, like, what gets put on sale and when, 
all that is determined okay. by like the standard market and shop practices that have been like in vogue for like ages now. January seals come in because people have like excess money from gifts at the Christmas, like those who gotta give them money, I mean. Exactly. So they have I money mean, to spend. Fine. Oh, in that was January. close. So they spend it in January for January seals. Where is it? Uh, no oh, building side. Ocean side. Seaside. It's all ocean side. <laughs> we, we already established this, okay? What, it's like, what else am I supposed to say? I don't think this map really suits call it anyway. It doesn't, and that's why I, that's a one another reason why I hate it. You know, you get it, clan man, clansman. <laughs> if we started calling people in clans that, do you think they would stop making them? <laughs> we should. It's glow on the other side. I don't even give a shit about like oh like, you know, fuck clans or anything. I just want to call them that now. Going, it going through mid. You, you'll have to chase it because I got I stuff can't. on enemies and shit. Well, it is a lost cause. We met thing anyway, so we're good. It's not good. No, I mean like we are, we will at least survive no matter what happens from here. Woo, nice. Except it's close to breaking, so that sucks. That's still good though. That's kind like of a moot point, point, honestly. I hate guns is killing the co-hawks and all that. Yeah, let's just hit the ones near here. It has to be yeah, the was, one. Just... It has to be seaside. It has to be. Yeah, must And be. I will prove it. Fuck! So it has to be this one over here <laughs> at the very end. There we go, yeah. I got pushed down by a bunch of co-hawks and shit. So... But yeah, I'm all like... A po like a platform holder has no say in what the price of a game on the platform is. They don't give a shit. It's not their game. I feel like Valve oh, does. No, they don't. Like if they if they did, no one would use it because well, not we can't make any money on this platform because Valve decided we don't want to. Well, Valve I'm would pretty price sure there. Look, I'm pretty sure there are negotiations, like, you know. Except there's also the shit like you know Valve has their own games. What's stopping Valve from just putting all your prices higher than theirs? See, I That's feel the like. Case. I feel like there's like some it would devs. Be that unfair. I feel like there's some devs who want to have their games even cheaper, and then Valve says Well, they says can set no. the price that cheaper. No, like Valve has no say in it. That's not how it works. I like, feel like they, Valve they, being anti-fun recently and the sale prices being shitty are tied no, together. No, that is up onto on the publishers or people who made the game are selling entirely, not to do with Valve. Like they don't have any say in the price because if they did, they could Why, just like, make everyone's think... games more expensive than theirs, and thus everyone will only buy their own games. Thus, the Valve would have, like, basically no one would sell because Valve would just make your game more expensive than theirs, and well, now they would. Fixing it. Like, I, like, if, like, platform holders having a say in price is very, very dumb. They don't, that's why they don't have it. Jesus Christ, huh? Please I mean, you can see works. this in stuff like ours, like, five different versions of Assassin's Creed Origins on the PSN, all of them, like, 80 fucking quid for nothing. If Sony were like sensible, they'd be like, "Well, no one's gonna buy it at that price, so we will like make you pay like, you know, like forty quid." And how do I roll with this shit? Because that's how you get people oh, to right. buy it. It's the jump button, and what does the what does the A button do? Nothing. It does nothing. I mean, B's been jumping the ten games for ages. No, I'm saying A could be rolled while you're shooting. Oh right, right. right. Is it, is it like some Joy-Con shit again? Is that is that what it is? I feel like there are, there's an A and B button on the Joy-Con too. There are, yeah. So I don't know what the, what the hell the problem there is. I think that's just because like they figured if you could like separately jump and roll, it might be too good. No, I don't know. This is the stream of me being angry. <laughs> that, yeah, that's fine because the last one was my stream of being angry. DSS is playing Odyssey. Question is if he's screaming. <gasps> Maybe I can host afterwards. <gasps> Yay. They're comfy streams. <laughs> I'm like, I, I was so close last night to tweeting, like, I'm so sick of people in Ch Carl's chat just saying everything and not letting him just play the game. I was so close. How do you mean? 
like he's playing Odyssey and people are just telling him how to do things and how things are. Uh, okay. And I bought the game for him and I hate that. And I'm like trying my hardest not to be an asshole. But at the same time, trying not to fucking get, have a heart attack <laughs> over people backseating video games on Twitch.tv. For me, like, it sort of depends on the game. Like, for stuff like Odyssey, no, like, do not say a word. No, it's like, it's not only because it's a new game, but because it's a good game. What? I thought you hated Odyssey. <laughs> no, I didn't. I liked it. What? You sound like I, you just wanted to get it over with. I mean, I kind of did, because <laughs> if it were up to me, I wouldn't be playing the 500. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> but it was up to you, wasn't it? Well, no, because like the way, like you kept bringing it up, and people kept going like, "Yeah, do it." Well, people, I mean, like you and David, it's like, well, nice is a sort of obligation. I would <laughs> more comfortably have not done this because I didn't care that much. You could have, you could have posted that uh, Scrooge McDuck image where he just says no and he has the smug smile. <laughs> that's such a, that's like one of my favorite images. And like, cause like you know, like the streams took a while. It's like I want to play Xenoblade Two and I want to do other things. Wow, like, you gotta fucking finish Odyssey, aren't you? Look. No, I did really enjoy that. it. Like, I did really enjoy it, but, like, having to stream it from, like, where it go is, I think, what hurt it. It's like, I would rather not fully stream a game I haven't played before, unless it's, like, something I'm not explicitly... It, something like Odyssey, I will, like, buy and I want to play this by myself to explore and do it all by myself first, rather than in front of an audience, whereas I will happily play stuff like, uh, Danganronpa or whatever. For an audience, because like, ah, oh, like, like, what's he gonna do? Like, how is he gonna react? Shit like that. Hey, you, what's he gonna do? Well, the thing is, I think, I think you need to go back to Odyssey and do Koopa Free Running just so you can fully understand my hatred for that game. <laughs> and that you bought it for other people. Yeah, look, I like it, but I also <laughs> hate it. I hate it. And that's, that I just mean, makes it, me it hate Odyssey more. Break your arm, yeah. The fact that I love and hate it. Just makes me hate it even more. Because <laughs> it's, it's like such a bittersweet thing. Because the normal game, you don't have to use much controls at all. So but the best part, for... the <laughs> best part of the game is Koopa free running. That's I the most fun. Apparently, but... it's the most fun part. But that's I the mean, one where I you need to like use the, the motion controls. Just like wandering around, exploring the world, doing dumb shit to get stars. And then like the best kingdom. Is like the worst one to do, and then the easiest kingdom can't be done on a controller, <laughs> or on a pro easy. controller. I mean, and it Which just makes me want to die. The seaside kingdom, because oh, okay. you can't throw down to get the cheap cheap on the pro controller. Why? It's motion controls. But it doesn't make any sense. Motion controls. And like, you know what, I would love to have great times in this, but I also hate using the Pro Controller and it's tiny ass buttons. Sorry, I don't have baby hands. <laughs> Gavin McBaby hands over here. No, I'm like, just, like I am just endlessly adaptable to game controllers. I remember what everyone Look, was you're, you're just oh, saying that to spite me, I, I, I know. The way that people are going like, oh, the, the Wii is like impossible <laughs> people, to because why people. Don't? People, like everyone, five like, quotation marks around people. Like, lots of people said that. Like, the fucking everyone here at the way he goes, oh, well, I, go. I cannot be fucking arsed to move my arm at all. Okay. I think, yeah, I, I'm with you on that one, at least. I think, I like the Wheeze Waggle a lot. Although, yeah, I can I understand, know. like, doing, cause, like, in uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, people say that all the time. I think no, for the like, main I, game. No, I get it. It's like a situational thing. You don't want to do that in, like, a platform like that. Well, I mean, I thought it was good, but it's like Donkey Kong Country Returns has, like, very unforgiving time trials that you need to do to 100% the yeah. game. So I could understand it there, I just never did those. Whereas, like, I really like the Wii, especially for, like, shooting and aiming. It's like, Metroid Prime 3 was a fucking, like, sublime dream of trick shots and being rad as hell. I was like, yeah. Like, fucking love this. And everyone's like, I come the arms to even with my arms, you fucking children. And, like, Mario, uh, what, New Super Mario Bros. and Mario Galaxy felt really natural. Yeah. I don't I mean, think people complain about that as much. Project. You just twitched your wrist and then off he went. Whereas with the Switch Joy-Cons, you have to have a fucking seizure to make it react. And then the difference between that and Odyssey is that it only does one thing. 
<laughs> yeah. Instead of... And Galaxy didn't have taunting time trials that were completely dependent on... motion. You have to shake Very the right. controller this specific way. Five different ways for five different moves. Also, the game won't read it properly ever. Oh, Ooh. you wanted to throw Cappy up? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Help. <laughs> I hate. Does anyone have, like, a hyper that can deal with those flying fuckers? I have Stingray, but I'm dead over here. Oh. And I'm being shot at immediately on revival, so... I... Oh, shit. I've oh, killed two of them. Two alive. There are eggs down here. Where's down here? Uh, help. You don't. Oh, good. Thank God, whatever. Two of the flying gets to. Whatever died over there died. Yeah, it was a taxi. It was like right by the uh, basket. Yeah, it's like for Metro Kingdom. <laughs> for Metro <laughs> Kingdom, especially. Yeah. There's so many facet facets that have to be correct. You have what do you have to do? You have to be a fork, dude. You have to shake to spring higher. You have to make sure Mario isn't too close to the wall. You have to shake the controller up, which is finicky. So Mario throws the hat up. And then after that, you have to shake the controller to have Cappy home in on the other fork, dude. And then do that four times. At the end of the free running thing. So you could get everything else right and then mess that part up. I'm just like, man. I wish I could at least do Wooded Kingdom, though. That's the one time I'm not satisfied with at all. What one is that entailed? Uh, like, that one you is... Essentially, you have to use... Like, what I did was I did this convoluted and stupid wall jump thing up. Where, right. in reality, the easy like the easy fix to get me a much better time without putting that much effort in would just be to use the uproot. Okay. And uh, if you want to optimize that, though, the uproot spawn timer is messed up so instead oh, okay. of hitting retry you have to actually quit out you have to quit out every time you have to redo it if you want the most optimal is that to time. reset the timer or that's to reset the uh yeah the spawn timer for that okay. i didn't go in that one didn't oh i didn't even see you throw it <laughs> <laughs> i like jumped over your head and won it and i was like oh no that's gonna bind that I don't even know what caused this. This obvious oh. discussion. <laughs> it, I was kind of like sidetracked from like talking about <laughs> like uh, Odyssey or games or whatever. Every time Odyssey's brought up, like I just you, you, and I hate it because speedrunning. <laughs> I like you act. You actually need to. If you like sense that the conversation is gonna lead to Odyssey, you have to do <laughs> everything in your power <laughs> to steer it to something else. You Where's really do. <laughs> you really do, because I'm gonna start spending a, at least five minutes complaining about Koopa yeah. free running every single time. I didn't pick up an A, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, we, we all do that. Which one did that go in? None of them. Yeah. Just to say neither of them. Because none is like a. Never mind, no, it's not. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say a negative superlative. No, no, no. That does not make any sense. No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> really, the idea was like there has to be at least three things, and in yeah. order to have a superlative, there needs to be at least three things. People, people even know what that is. I mean, if you want to explain it, that's the topic. <laughs> what? Just grammar terms? Uh, why not? <laughs> even I don't know a lot of grammar terms. That makes me feel inferior. Cause I feel like I'm supposed to know them. It's the funny thing where like I probably couldn't describe the terms if you asked me to, but like I, like I intrinsically know what they are. Like uh, what was it? Like last stream, I didn't know. Onomatopoeia, I think. I mean, All right, yeah. It's, it's like it's I, I mix them up and I'm like I don't know what which is what. I forget. Is this faster than swimming? Uh, I think it is. Yeah. Okay. By just a bit, especially if you have like run speed up in standard play. Then, then you just fucking zoom around the place. If I have swim speed up in standard play like a normal person. 
I mean, you probably just get shot and killed instantly. They can't see me because I have stealth swim. Like a normal person. No, oh, then you definitely get shot and killed. Instantly. What are you? That doesn't make any sense. Oh wait, I see. You're, you're talking about when I'm running with the brush. I gotcha. Yeah. It all it all makes sense now. When when is stealth run? <laughs> what would that entail? Whenever you're running, it you can't be seen. So you just can't be seen all the time. Uh, no. Okay. New plan. New new plan. New plan. New plan. Yeah. This is like walking speed. Oh no no no. The, the squid kids now move at walking speed. The speed that you're moving at now, getting debuffed. Next next patch. And then okay. to run this speed, you have to shake the controller. <laughs> and then they add stealth run. So you don't run, you don't be invisible all the time for free because you can't shake all the time. It's called balance, okay? I got it. I can work at Nintendo. I was gonna say, yeah, no, like the speaking of like stuff that makes you disappear, I was like reminded me of like Metro Prime Hunters on the DS. What do you mean it makes me disappear where I just don't talk and then go? Uh, no, like we're literally talking about disappearing and going invisible. Oh. I don't know how you forget these things and then make me out to be an asshole. Well, no, because, <laughs> because I figured it was. <laughs> like, you start talking about a game I haven't played and then I just think you of. Just immediately what, tune out and stop listening to the one I'm No, that's not true. It's just that I have nothing to say. <laughs> well, fuck me then. But yeah, like, the sniper character, and uh, I forget his name. It's a sniper. No, it, was, it might have been... I don't remember what it was. It was something at the beginning with T or it was Kricken. But Kricken might be the name of his race and I might just be being racist against aliens. They were a collective anyway, like the Borg, so they don't actually have much individuality. Is it tipped up? Let's go with that, yeah. <laughs> top 10 tipped up games. <laughs> okay, here's a random question. Yeah. What Diddy Kong racing character do you use? I usually used either Diddy or Banjo. I'm Diddy! Woohoo! Because I was like, oh, they're the main character. In multiplayer, when I was playing with like other people, like my sister and shit, I would play as the crocodile. <laughs> He's the worst one. I think I he has the worst stats. Yeah, but I like the crocodile. It kind of sucks, but it's also very kind it, of like it's, sim it's very racist symbolic. Against yeah. People. <laughs> it, 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 like it's a signifier of their continued oppression at the hands of the apes. I can't get it in. He's, I can't get. Well, there goes one egg. <laughs> there goes one egg. It's like yeah, uh, it's you know, I, I shouldn't bring it up, but it's like in Fire Emblem Heroes where there's that one skill where you can't get by any. Any person, even if there's oh, a gap, yeah. that's what they have. That's what the little shits have. Yeah. Their hitboxes are not right. They really aren't. You should be able to jump over them, but you just can't for some reason. You know, you visibly jump three times their height. Can they, like can a video game make hitboxes that small? Is that the problem? Yeah. No, they can. I like plenty do. Like what? I mean, they consider stuff like fucking like Metal Gear, like Metal Gear Two and Three on the. PS2 had the ability you'd shoot through chain like fences just by shooting through the gas, which was so fucking tiny because they're chain like fences. You could like, you could still shoot through it by just like lining your gun up with a hole and shooting through it. And it's like that is so tight of hitbox I didn't think it was possible. Then again, the Metal Gear to like Solid Two and Three are like some of the best games ever made. So yeah, I'm sure of it. No, they are. They can be sarcastic all you want. They are genuinely some of the best games ever made. If they're some of the best games ever made, why haven't I played them? You don't play games. Well, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... To get back to the Metroid Prime Hunter's point I wanted to make, this guy, like, when he has, his whole gimmick was that when he had his sniper rifle weapon out, if he stood still, he would just become, like, perfectly invisible. And as you might imagine, stupid. like... As you might imagine, that is some of the, like, just being a perfectly invisible sniper anywhere on the map where you can just shoot people <gasps> at all. Is like, uh... Basically, it was completely bullshit, and then 
You could also just like fuck it, like just glitch yourself in the wall where you couldn't be hit, but you could shoot out of it, and you could just like be in, in like invisible inside a wall forever, killing people and just winning the game. And basically, that game's online was a fucking comedy. And I wonder why no one ever talks about that game. I, don't think, I think basically no one played it. Hello, Luigi. Like it was in theory, it was okay as a game in theory, but. In practice, it was it's kind of dull. More than anything. I mean, still better than other RAM, but that's not saying much. Luigi taking your shit on my bed right now is better than other RAM. Nice. He's creeping about my floor, squeaking at me. Parallels between Nier Automata and Metroid Other RAM. <laughs> you can there use this none. function now. There are none. The, the, that's one. Can't say there are none. That's one. There are none. That's one. No, because like, you can. I don't know if there are any it. others, but that's one. <laughs> how, to, how to ruin Gavin's favorite games? Just find no, one that's, similarity. No, that's not the similarity. Between that and other M. Look, you, you might as well say it is a video. You might as well say it is a video game. Female Please, weed. Why? Why? <laughs> why are you doing this, cat? Ugh, come here. Hello. Hello. I have to get the timing for that down. We're gonna have to pause out of this game site to go like set something on. In the house. <laughs> after wave two? No, I mean like after this game, not this run. Okay, good. Listen to the words that I'm saying to you, not well, the meaning to you. The game could mean anything. This is a game. It really couldn't, though. We're playing a current game with several rounds in it. I didn't say after this wave, I said after this game. I don't, oh. like, your, I don't like your attitude. <laughs> I'm just kind of sick of like, saying words to people and then no. <laughs> like, take the opposite meaning from it. It's like, no, what the fuck that, are people that, here? Get out of here! here. Get out like, of you're here! You're not the only one who does it. Like damn, near everyone else does it. Like, what the fuck are you hearing coming out of my mouth? Quotation mark. Like, people. The first time I'm here. Like, people. Like, I'm like fucking czar. Like my fucking like relatives. Like my friends. Like a fun time to say words to David. He just goes arr. It's like you fucking listening to what I'm saying to you. Am I speaking fucking French? Maybe it's a user error. That's not. Like, I literally say the words to you, even like fucking clear, you hear them, you just hear the meanings and you just like parse it as something completely different somehow. It's like, how oh, hi, do you people keep doing this? I mean, usually with you, you know, it's like an immediate problem. So, I mean, could have been after problem. wave two. No, I couldn't though, because I said game, not wave. Thanks, big. Even though I killed it. Thanks, 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 thanks. You're going on the list. <laughs> My favorite one is when I like, I like use language as clear as possible to someone, and they still go huh, and that's that's basically why I, I don't want to talk to Zar ever. Dude, the, <laughs> the fucking uh, what's it, I Toho can't, puppet can't. show? What was that? Always uh. a stickler for the details, aren't you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> so good. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, I just get mad when people just, like keep misunderstanding me no matter what I say then it's just like I think I'm justified. No, you're not. Like ever. Trouble. <laughs> we'll let the people decide. The people don't get to decide. Quotation mark. People. I mean, I know you're objecting to that because, but like, it literally is just like a collective of people I speak to just do not understand the words I say to them. And it's like, <sighs> the main one seems to be like a thing just happens, and we are still in the context of that thing. So I make a reference to that thing, and they just look at me like I'm some sort of retard. And it's like, mm. grit. <laughs> I'm playing a video game, okay? <laughs> ah! That is a snake that is intent on my flesh. That is a taxi that is intent on my flesh. This game mentally strains me in multiple ways. I, we just killed that snake. 
<laughs> no, that, that, that was the one that killed me. Get these fucking stuff. That get them. Oh, it did. At least we have quota because Jesus Christ. What was that thing even? Like, I got killed by a small fry, but I don't, didn't see the thing. This is also the hour in which I get angry. Right. I'm also <laughs> because I have to go downstairs. Seven run is bad for us. <laughs> Alright, back in a second. I don't have to hit any buttons here, do I? No. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I think we, we think <laughs> you think we would know this, but we don't. No, it just becomes a his. Alright. Back in a second. time is it? 5.30? How am I hungry? I had, a, <laughs> I had a giant ass chicken parm sandwich and some cookies. How am I hungry? What the heck? Uh... Yeah, fair enough. I know where I'm going after this stream. Comfy Mario Odyssey. Yes, it's probably doing the White Kingdom. And that's the last Koopa free running he has to do. <gasps> well, it's alright. Chris, you should be entertaining. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Same time. Let's see. This one, right? Yeah, I did that one. I'm back. Had my finger on it the whole time. <sighs> hey, you want a discussion point that's controversial and that you sure, definitely want to agree it. with? And then we'll get in an argument and then I'll say, what are you saying? Yeah, go for it. Why not? All right. What's your stance on saying GG? Yeah, sure. All right. Okay. Because I think it's stupid. Alright. <laughs> Most times. This is like, it happens a lot, I'm 100% orange juice, right? And I never uh, say it. Yeah. But that's because you never had the rat to most people. What? In games? You don't even say Booyah? That's... Admits. Booyah is stupid. Yeah, that's exactly the point, you just don't interact with people, so you're not saying GG. No, that's not, that's not true. There are a lot of times when 100% orange juice where it's like a fucking party. <laughs> and I'm the life of it. But, uh... Not when we're streaming, because we're streaming, and I don't want to use my mechanical keyboard right next to my microphone. But if I'm on my own, I'll do that. But like, it's all just right. like, ev you know, everyone just says GG at the end of a game, even if they weren't talking at all, even if it wasn't a good game. Oh, it's like being at like a poker table. You just kind of go like, mm -hmm, cough, cough, and then you leave. And that is the cough, just, cough of respect. It's just like forced politeness that yeah. shouldn't exist, because... It has no meaning, I guess, but at the same time, I guess I'm just that kind of guy who's like... Are we uh, not sportsmen? No. <laughs> no, because if... It, like, if it, like sometimes the game's really close, but I won't say good game because that has no meaning anymore. I'd say, holy shit, that game was amazing, you know? I'd be a human a being with anymore? personality. Because everyone says it for everything. It's it's used. Does, there's that, no. How does that mean it doesn't have a meaning? Anymore? There's no meaning. Like it's empty. I mean, like if that is the logic, then like most words don't have a meaning anymore because everyone uses them. No, no. See, you're you're taking it to a logical extreme. <laughs> I don't I don't respect that. It's like uh, what, what's another example of something that people say all the time? So it's like, what's the point of saying it? It's like. <sighs> Same like, glass, you have to use sneakers. Mm, that, I think that's a bit different. Oh, fuck. Well, it's alright though. Because it was me standing back at the main level. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's not like when people say, like, thanks. Like, you know, if you're at a grocery store and the person rings you up or whatever and you say thanks. 
Mm -hmm. Even though, like, it's just an obligatory thing. I don't think... I mean... Oh, wait, shit! I'm an idiot! I don't think that really counts. I guess because I'm I am thankful, in a way. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, so I don't have to do it myself. Please assist. What? Say thank you? Bro, they're just thanks. I say thanks. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What do you mean? Just, oh, just never, never mind. The cannons? No, just never mind. I need to know. Now I need to know if you say thank you or not. No, it's not as completely irrelevant to what I say, but then you just did that thing where you just hear something completely different somewhat again. Well, oh and god, just, what? Oh, why the fuck do I bother? Was what I just said a second I before. Should just go like, oh, through all these streams, you can just fill in whatever you want. You want to? We can do a stream like that. <laughs> no, because that annoys my mouth. For like, I'm so <laughs> I'll do this with my hands. They're not mermaids, they're dugongs! There's a thing going right for you. I, I was the, so. It's coming right for us! Wait, what were we- a torpedo? No, like a fucking moz. Oh, okay. Dude, you can't get angry at that, because I, you know, I no, can't No, I'm see. just annoyed in general. Like, please desist. <laughs> With questions about my safety in a cannon? Yeah. I wish I wish there was a chat. I need to know if Gavin's taking it too far. I mean, they were side of you because most of the viewers are your friends, so. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Not the not the friends part, the agreeing part. Oh my god, another one. All low tide, this man. Yeah, this isn't how tide works. <laughs> no, that's not even start. <laughs> is there even a moon in the nighttime stages? I mean, I don't think there is. I'm not sure there's a sun here. I think that's. I think that's a sun. I think. I think that's safely. I mean, you have to assume if this is Earth, if this is the Earth, then uh, which is heavily implied, there needs to be a moon. I mean, not necessarily. If the moon was destroyed. Right, by Dr. Robotnik. No, I mean, like, it smashed into the earth, and that's why there's squid people there. I feel like that would cause, like, ir <laughs> irreversible damage to the planet. Yeah, yeah, it has, and I like to see things walk on the land. No, like, like no life would survive, and the no, planet would be torn asunder. Land. No, it wouldn't do that, but the moon is just a big asteroid. That, but it's really big. Yeah, but it's also not big enough to like have that as much space it would need to be that that massive a calamity. I don't know, do we know this for sure? Do we have astronomers? I mean people like change their opinions all the time because the science is constantly changing as people change variables to suit their own moods. He can change his variables to suit his mood. One alive. It's you. Oh good. Get and we're all over here. Oh shit. And you have chosen to flee. <laughs> We don't have enough, so <laughs> One more- Oh, God! There were no eggs nearby, sadly. God damn it, it was so close. You heard the, uh, the DK rap, but it's like the coconut gun rap. Yeah. That's a good- <laughs> That's a good video. Bigger, faster, and a <laughs> coconut gun. What else can I get mad about? <laughs> I'll just start talking about anything. It seems to be working. <laughs> Talk about the concept of love. Do you understand the concept of love? I don't get it. I'm sure you don't. I <laughs> know. <laughs> was that a jet set radioism? Yeah, you exactly knew what it was from me. Yeah, that's why I asked. <laughs> yeah. 
All, all those games that I haven't played but are popular bore together. Like, to be honest, you can you hit, like you the soundtracks like great and they like you know like creatively also very cool, but you can just skip those. Things. My brain is like, is it Metal Gear Solid? No. Is it Persona? No. Uh, is it Jet Set Radio? Wait, that might be it. It's very likely. Yeah, that's something I can do. I'm just streaming the Metal Gear Solid series. Except oh, 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 do you want to get mad? What? Do you want to get mad? I played what? Jet Set Radio and I hated it. That doesn't surprise me at all. The controls were really not good. I, that doesn't make me mad at all. It doesn't? No. Really? I, I literally just said if you haven't played it, you can just skip them. I guess so. It's like everyone loves that series, and like yeah, the no, music it's, bothered it's, it's me. Terrifying thing. It's where like it has the cool status, but it's from a lot of people who haven't actually played it. They just oh, saw I see. The they like the they they... music, and we're like, oh, this is yeah, the coolest okay. shit ever. It was on the Dreamcast. I don't know. Maybe if they made like a new one in this era. That makes oh, Sega making a new video game. What? They made Sonic Runners Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> they actually didn't. I think like Game Loft did that, but. And I'm mad because I killed that, but I didn't want to get rained on and die. Yeah, no, it's one of those games like uh, Earthbound or whatever, where a lot of people saying, "Oh, this is the the best shit ever." I haven't actually played it for themselves. I feel like with Earthbound, know, you could get a lot, a, a lot. How about that? You could get a lot of the feel from watching it. I don't know, because the game is mostly charm. You know, it's not like yeah. fun gameplay. It's mostly charm that you can watch. But at the same time, I feel like you lose something by not experiencing it yourself. By you your do. Reaction. You lose the, you lose getting frustrated at some of the aspects, like the inventory space and the impossibly hard bosses. No, but they also insane like insane grinding. A lot of the charm is like yourself bumbling into it by yourself and seeing it yourself, rather than through the guided hand of someone else who may know what they're doing. Maybe been a while since I watched Earthbound before I streamed it, so. Like, I forgot most of it. Like, I, I forgot Diamond Dog was even a thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Or, like, the Hotlands. Or is that... Maybe that's an Undertale. Is that an Undertale? I don't know. I've played Undertale. Well, is there a... What, is that Volcano World called the Hotlands? I don't think it's called the Hotlands, but... Okay, then that's an Undertale. An Undertale is basically the third one. That's the vibe I've been hearing. I want to play that soonish. I should probably play that at some point. It's not far removed from the endless wanking that made me hopelessly cynical about it. Oh. David's been watching an endless thing and he's making him want to play it. I'll be ready. What? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I got, I got in. Don't worry. <laughs> that was that was so good. <laughs> Just want to climb this wall, for fuck's sake. Do I? I know. I got red. What? Throws it in the right one, misses anyways. You said it like so suddenly, sharply. I didn't actually know what you said. It's like I said, like oh, they they was watching an else thing. You said something. Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> reference? Like what? The flying fucker, you know. Yeah, no, I, I didn't realize that's what you were saying. It's like, was that a reference? <laughs> it was, it was, it was it. just the way you said what. It was just so good. <laughs> yeah, he's watching it, and he's saying like, oh, it makes me want to play it. But then he says it's basically like a shmup, and that he's terrible at those. Yeah, it, it pretty much is, I guess. Which does make me interested. Looks like quite like shmups. Oh, fuck. Oh, good. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Undertale. It's like, cause there's obviously the pacifist route and then the genocide route. I'm just gonna play the pacifist route and call it there. But that, then you aren't gonna get the shmups. Ah, oh, well, whatever then. I don't care. I mean, I guess you could do like a normal-ish or a middling route. I'll maybe. just kill anyone who annoys me, basically. <laughs> Drop TM. Up. Oh, almost. Alright, let's meet it on the other side where it's going to be more important. It. 
I'm glad you people just took the lift away from us over here. As soon as you lose, bitch. It all worked out. It's high over here, so... Oh, it's high over here, so it has to be this? Yep. I just kind of assumed that that one was yours. Oh, God! Oh, God, they <laughs> opened up all the other ones, too. They did, yeah. Kill them. Oh, over here. Go, 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 go. <laughs> he tried so hard with the brush. <laughs> I'm like trying to ink his path, and I'm like, wait, I don't need to. I guess that's the thing. There's like undo praise for a game, at least by like from what you know, undo. Would that like undo. turn you off of playing the game? Uh, to a degree, depending on what the game is. Fair enough, but like, what would make the game qualify? I guess. Uh, I guess if it's a game that I'm not really interested in in the first place, or like my style of game. I don't mm. know. No, that's, that that's pretty fair. Mm. I'm trying to figure out, like, what games that happened to, if any. Well, Undertale, didn't it? Not really. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not the one who's, like, the Undertale wank bothered me. Yeah, it bothered me. It's definitely happened before. <laughs> then I have, like, a general thing where it's, like, people who give, like, oh, this game is fucking great, you need to play it, I play it, and it's a shit. Oh yeah, there's there's that. <laughs> That's a there's thing. With but I, so many games. I do that all the time. <laughs> oh, the last one was the greatest game ever to exist, and I played it. It's like this is the most generic fucking stuff, like half-ass stealth shooter thing I've ever fucking played. It's also, up... it's also it's just a zombie game. Like get over yourselves. He's gonna end up hating playing Rampa. <laughs> I mean, I the guy already told me that I got like five minutes in to call the protagonist to cut and stop playing. <laughs> He's, he's not, I'm already hyping it up, even though I don't really mean to, but I, like, I can't, I can't, like, do anything to unhype it up or anything, because it's spoilers, you know? One of you come up here and shoot me quickly. No. So it's um, like, I can just say, like, it's really good, you should play it, but I can't say why. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. It's a story thing with twists and turns, and I'm pretty sure if someone is the ultimate, someone is a furry, I'm pretty sure, just dressing up as a furry. All right, Gavin. How many Danganronpa characters do you know? Ah, uh, there's the pink-haired twin tail girl who I really like the design of. Anime? The, like, she's all <coughs> over the second game, I think. No, no, no. The one from the first game. It's like, big I don't remember what it was. She had like two. She had big twin tails and she had like pink hair. Not purple. I, no, not purple. It's like, I'm. How? She had like a black shirt. She had like a black shirt. She had like, I guess like punk, like a general punk look. She was in the first game. She was there for like, she's a, like, I think she's like some sort of model or idol or something. I think, I think the problem is that I haven't played the first game in so long. Uh, ultimate I mean, look, fashionista. Like, I don't know. I don't know the title or anything. But you look at like. Key art for the first game, I'm pretty sure she'd be like front and center. She seemed pretty prominent. God, I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. I was, I was gonna say, who would your waifus be for uh, the games? The well, best I girls. Played. <laughs> I, I know you haven't played, but like a perspective, <laughs> perspective, you know? I mean, and then, you know, you can see how it changes as you play the game. I remember there was like there was an idol in like the first game that and yeah. was over the protagonist stick and I was like this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Oh good. I still don't like that about the protagonist in the first game where like his skill is literally I'm actually a talentless cunt, don't have a <laughs> going for me. 
But everyone likes me anyway, and I got into the school for super cool people. This, this I hate, town I hate is shit like that. Like I really do. Like I fucking hate that. This town is ultimate lucky student. Yeah, so his talent is dick bag with no actual it, skill. I'm gonna be. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything, but it does get better. The talent does get better. Somehow I died that. It does. No, it does. It does. I can't give you any specifics though. I really like what they did with that. Oh, that dude's AFK. Down right there. Oh, now he's calling for help. Nice, maybe he's back. What's it gonna be? He's actually moving, so yeah. Okay, there we go. What, the stingray didn't work? I don't know, I guess. I mean, there's, there's a trio of eggs, I just, it just didn't do enough damage in time. It's so weird how, like, the stingray's damage is kind of based on time. Does it have damage fall off? Maybe that's it. No, it doesn't have damage falls. Like, it stays consistent, but, like, it needs, like, a lot of time to die in the mothership. You basically need to use it from, like, word go to die in the mothership when it starts its approach. You're, like, you're off by in a second. If you don't, you're off by in a second, you won't have enough time, you won't have enough time to kill it. I don't think that's it, because I find that you get better results from waiting. I don't think so. No, it's also, like, a thing of, like, if you get interrupted or not. I think I killed him first. Like, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, like, I've done Resident Evil 7 now, so like, I'm gonna try dang and romp for one soon. <gasps> Remember. That's something I could talk about, because I put out the Resident Evil 7 post. Right, I, oh my god, I forgot to ask about it, because I didn't have a notepad open. Yeah. About, I mean, you know, it is one of those things where, like, I haven't played it, I know nothing about Resident Evil, and the genre doesn't interest me, so I can only imagine well, that- the series marathon me and David are like, slowly trying to do, uh, eventually will do, should help with one of those things anyway. Oh, no. oh I lived, but I died. <laughs> Still alive. Let's see, where do I start with Resident Evil 7? Where do you think I should start, actually? I have no idea. <laughs> well, like, mm. Oh, there's okay. too much shit. Oh my god. There is there is too much shit. There's no way. There is just too much shit. Wait, we can do this. We can do this. We can do it now. Hello, Luigi. I'm dead. Hello, Luigi. Hello. Please, one. Yes! Not again. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> and it's all because I remembered that hypers existed. And I think that's the only time I used it this entire stream. <laughs> I... Wow. I think it was. I think it was, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, Resident Evil 7. Basically, I heard like generally people saying, Oh, it's actually scary. Like, it actually is really good. And then I played it and it's like, this is shit. Is it shit or is it just not as good? No, like, I would actually say it's shit. If 5 was, like, neutral, like, didn't love it, didn't hate it, what would the number rank be? 4. That's not that bad. Like, uh, shit it, is, like, 2, I think. I mean, I just say shit for anything I just don't like. But, um, generally, like, I like its design. Like, I like its design ethos. It has the original Resident Evil games design ethos and style. Not as like it's not as extensive or elaborate, but it, it does it like that's fine. It's a good start, but the actual mechanics are balls. Like the like if it, like movement is very slow and unwieldy and awkward. Like, you can't evade enemies very well, so they put in a block mechanic that is very dumb and doesn't work a lot of the time. In that like telling the difference between attack you can block and attack you can't block is just. You can't do it, because you, you block by your characters raising their bare hands, and they can, like, tank giant monster claws, but they can't tank someone hitting them with an axe. Shit I mean, like that. axes are pretty powerful. Yeah, but then, you know, a giant monster, like, twice your height with a claw that is, like, longer than your torso, which, like, shanks you directly in the arm. You can just tank that and make the arm, the, the claw bounce away like it's nothing. Well, yeah, because it's just a claw, you know? But then, you, it's shit like that, like... <laughs> the combat and the auto mechanics about the combat are very bad. 
And you can go like, well, in survival horrors, you're not meant to be fighting. That would be true if it weren't for the fact that most of the game is very linear, like very tight corridors and rooms where you can't really run around enemies and are basically forced to fight them. And then towards the end, it just descends into throwing bunches of monsters at you and you have loads of ammo, so it just becomes a shooter anyway. Isn't that just like Doom, though? No. Not, like, not at all. Still haven't played that. You should play that. On the docket. And uh, yeah, basically it's just not very good. <laughs> like it's all—it's part of the way there. Like the shell, the structure is there, but the mechanics and the stuff they put in these isn't. And there's a lot of things that annoy me individually. Like there's quite a few sections where you're just walking while like things happen. Like like a spooky ghost girl jumps around, or like. You're just walking through dark corridors while your torch flickers. Is she cute? Is it... No. Uh. She's also tan. But, um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... It's like... What was I gonna say? You fucking... <laughs> you fucking <laughs> I'm, I'm doing dark. the important questions here. But, uh... Yeah, like... There's a lot of stuff like that where it's, it just becomes like amnesia, uh, like alien isolation. It's like one session where you have to actually just hide from invincible stalker enemy. It's like this is fucking annoying and I hate it. I always hate this. Like it's fucking terrible. And uh, it's also just not scary. Like there's like it relies almost solely on jump scares. And while I do like Resident Evil gore and body horror, like aesthetically, like, that's rad for to give you monsters to fight and all that. The actual scary parts of it is just jump scares and only one of them is actually any good. Because it's the only one where it isn't just someone leaps from off camera into your face. I actually uploaded a video to my other YouTube account to ah. demonstrate like how bad the game contrives jump scares. Because I caught it in the act of like spawning something in somewhere where like... Basically there's a point where like a crazy lady jumps out at you from around the corner. But I could see around the corner and see that it was a dead end where she wasn't. And then she just suddenly appears like from the wall and then leaps at you. As it just like phases through the wall like a Bethesda game. To do her little scare routine and like it's just shit like that. It's like this is very tacky. Very contrived and it's also just not very effective. Except for one time early on. Where again it isn't just someone leaping into your face. It's like an actual well done jump scare. Hello, Luigi. I guess the main question is, do you think Resident Evil 8 will be better? Uh, maybe. Like, here's the, th here's the thing. Like, as much as I didn't like Resident Evil 7, this needed to happen. Like, Resident Evil 6 was a creative, <laughs> stagnating dead end that was fucking terrible. Even if I don't like this, this needed to happen from a creative perspective to get the series better out of that rut and go somewhere else. Like, even if they stick to this, they can fix it. They can't. It does need to make the, the combat better, and they can fix it, and that's it done. Yeah, you made a like, remark like that, and that's why I was wondering. Like, if they if they fix that, like, I'm done. Like, the first person perspective is fine. Like, it has, like, classic Resident Evil design. Like, it, that's all fine. It's just that the meat of the game is the combat, and the combat shit. So if they fix that, it's fine. Like, it could be pretty good. But the other question is, do you think it getting so much praise means they're not going to change many things about it that you hate? No, because it's Capcom and they change anything at the drop of a hat. In fact, there's no guarantee we'll actually keep the first person perspective. Like if Resident Evil, the next Resident Evil game we're due, as far as we know, is the remake of 2. And that will probably keep the same style as like the original, like very original games and the Resident Evil 1 remake. If that comes out and that sells better than Resident Evil 7 did... And is like Prius higher Calcom very well just might make Resident Evil it like that again. But you, there's no guarantee with Capcom. <laughs> they'll just do whatever the fuck they like. Even... Maybe Resident Evil is over. <laughs> no, no, they'll keep doing that. It will go until Capcom themselves die. <laughs> <laughs> it, it made like, it money. Is, it, it made is money. Their, yeah, it is their big money maker franchise, especially because they fucked Street Fighter and I. I thought that was yeah. Mega Man. No, 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 Mega Man like lost his title ages ago. 
That was Monster Hunter. I mean, yes, but only in Japan, and Capcom seemed to just hate that now, and are like, no, we need to make it for everyone. Well, that, that, that's not a bad thing, is it? I mean, not necessarily, but it is that a thing of Capcom's, the people who run Capcom's business side of things don't seem to know what the fuck they're doing. Because, like, it's just, it's just shit like, for instance, Resident Evil 6 sold 6 million copies and was still a financial failure. Like, at that point, what the fuck are you doing? That's like you know? how uh, Sonic Runners was still a failure. And I'm like, wait, really? Yeah, it's just like, how, what the fuck are you doing? You know? Like, how did you do that? Like, yeah, they don't make their... Like, I mean, Resident Evil 7 so like... Three and a half million in like two months, and Capcom said this is a financial failure. It didn't meet expectations, and it is just that thing of like, what the hell are you doing? Like, why are you setting these expectations? Like, how much are you spending on this? You know, stuff like that. It is Capcom as a business is a strange and unsettling beast that doesn't make a lot of sense. But yeah, that's Splatoon 2. Yeah, that is Splatoon 2 <laughs> and Capcom. <laughs> and Capcom. But yeah, what's the... <laughs> that's my review of Capcom as a company. See, this ends at 7 a.m. tomorrow, and then comes back at 1 p.m. tomorrow. So tomorrow, there's definitely going to be a salmon run, but uh, I'm probably thinking... Probably not the full thing, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking it's not... Well, right... Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck, it's Thursday. Fuck! Um, maybe there will be salmon it. run, and then I'll get dinner, and then tomorrow night I'll do uh, finish Doki Doki Literature Club because I want to finish that before my parents come home. Because Fair reading out loud, some of those things is problematic. So how is it problematic? I don't want them hearing some of that shit, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> just, just don't read it aloud. <laughs> no, because then it will be like the first stream, and that was not as good. I think. At all. Alright. Alright. So yeah, tomorrow will probably be just Salmon Run, and it probably would have been just Salmon Run anyways, but I'll probably do Doki Doki Literature Club, then I guess what's next? Friday. Friday single player, and then Saturday is Splatfest. Is Splatfest, and then Sunday could be multiplayer stream since Salmon Run still goes into that, I think. So it's a hectic schedule. I should take a day off at some point, but I will not. Yeah, you should. I never will. I mean, you, you should at least take days a day off, at least to do 100% OJ. Oh, yeah, well, no, I can do that during the night stuff. Alright, fair enough. But yeah. That was... 